Okay, C. Lindelof videos, solving logarithmic equations. I guess the first thing I would tell you about solving logarithmic equations is you need to really take your time and work on them piece by piece. And secondly, you have to have your properties of logarithms memorized. So if you're coming into this and you're like, I don't even know what he's talking about, properties of logarithms, you might find that this is the wrong video. You need to go back a video to the properties of logarithms. So let's just kind of go through this. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to look at all these pieces individually. So I'm going to look at it kind of like this. I'm going to, look, I'm going to check out this. I'm going to work on this piece, and then I'm going to work on this piece. And lastly, I'm going to work on this piece with the intention of getting this x value right here. So I'm going to do a little bit of arithmetic first. Remember, one of the rules of, of logarithms is that we're allowed to exponentiate this coefficient here. So that means that we have 4 to the 3 halves power. So 4 to the 3 half power means the square root of 4, which is 2, and 2 to the third power is 8. So we actually have here log base b of 8. This negative sign is really, really important, so it's going to bring it down. And I'm going to start working on this thing. Same thing here. Remember that we can exponentiate this. That means it would go back up here. And because it's a rational exponent, this is the root of the number, and this is the power. So I would take the third root of 8, which is 2, and then I would square it, which is 4. So I would have log base b of 4. On the third term, there's really not much we can do. So I'm just going to leave it log base b of 2 equals log base b. I'm going to write this in a different color because I want to keep emphasizing the fact that we're trying to figure out what this x value has to be. So I'm going to go back to this. Now I'm going to work on these two pieces together, these first two pieces together. I'm going to look at this piece and this piece together. And remember, when you see a negative sign, negative sign tells us that we're going to divide. So I'm going to divide. I'm going to take log base b of 8 divided by, so this 8 is this 8, divided by 4, right? This negative sign right here tells us that we're going to divide 4, right? Plus log base b of 2 equals log base b of, and again, reminding us that we are trying to get to this x value right here, right? So I'm just going to keep moving, simplify this bit right here. 8 over 4 is 2, and I don't need to show any extra work to do that. I just want to show you where I got it. Now, using the first rule of log, first property of logarithms, I know that I can condense this. Base b and base b, the bases match, so these argument values can be multiplied, and 2 times 2 is 4. So I get log base b of 4 equals log base b of x. So we can see here, hopefully clearly now, that what's missing in our picture, and that's how we get our answer. We have log base b here. We have log base b here. So you can just kind of ask yourself, what value would four, uh, x have to be to be the same as this value? And hopefully you can see that x would have to equal 4. All right, so hey, thanks for watching the video. Remember, properties of, exponent, of logarithmic functions are where we have to start with this. And then also, know how to simplify rational exponents. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, can you please? Thanks.